Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and welcome back to the channel. Whilst we may receive a lot of questions around the process of getting your own firearm or shotgun certificate, the number one that dwarfs them all is how long is it going to take? Now, if you are looking for more information on getting a firearm or shotgun certificate, then head over to englishshooting.org. There are a selection of videos on there which will guide you through the process and hopefully give you a little bit more of an understanding of what's involved and what you need to do. But let's just say you've submitted your application and now you have the waiting game. And of course, you are gonna be wondering how long you need to wait until those certificates land on your doormat well previously it has been a how long is a piece of string question and that's because of the structure of firearms licensing departments here within the uk pretty much every county has their own firearm licensing department with their own staff own systems and own processes and this leads to a disparity and a big difference in how efficient and also how quickly applications can be processed but BASC have been keeping an eye on this and they've been for the last four years releasing their average times for each firearm licensing department and I thought it would be incredibly interesting to take a look at it and hopefully give you a little bit more of understanding of how quickly your local firearm licensing department can process your application. Now the link for this full table will be in the description and comment section below so if you don't see your county initially then you can go on and have a closer look at that table after the video and get a bit more guidance of how long things are going to take. But you can see it's pretty well set out. They are looking at shotgun certificate applications, firearm certificate applications, coterminous applications, and also variations along with renewal. So you can get a real understanding of how long each process is going to take. And we're gonna dive straight into the worst and also the best. So the wooden spoon winner is Avon and Somerset. They are taking on average 161 days to process a firearm certificate application. They're taking on average 139 days for a shotgun certificate application and 61 days for a variation. Comparing this to Cambridgeshire, who are the best by far on this list, they are taking 20 days for a firearm certificate application. They're taking 19 days for a shotgun certificate application and only six days for a variation. Now you can see between the worst and the best, there is a huge difference. A total of 141 days for a firearm certificate application. You're talking a difference of four to five months. So this is why it can be so hard to give anybody a good guide of how long it will take. And please remember that the big caveat on all of this is that these are the averages. And with statistics and averages, you are always going to have outliers which means there are going to be people unfortunately in Avon and Somerset waiting even longer than 161 days. Basque have also broken it down so you can see that the average FAC grant is 75 days, the average SGC grant is 81 days and renewals seem to be averaging at 49 days and comparing this to 2019 so these are the 2020 averages well looking at it compared to 2019 consistently the waiting times have gone up now this isn't too much of a surprise with covid a lot of if not all of the firearms licensing departments were closed at various points throughout the year so this is of course going to slow down applications but personally I don't think we've seen the worst of it yet. There are still a number of people that are waiting and really the only applications that will be in process were for vocational or professional reasons so I think once the backlog 
is is processed and we start seeing all of the people that have been waiting throughout 2020 these averages are going to shoot up even further for 2021 but what is the general trend well looking at the average we're seeing an average increase across the country of 14 days for a firearm certificate grant 21 days for a shotgun certificate grant and an increase of two days for a variation across the board so this really isn't good for the community whilst you can get into shooting without a firearm certificate or a shotgun certificate and i think i'm a shining example of how much shooting you can do in this country without having those certificates to really compete at the top level and to not be held back in your training you really do need your own certificate and and to only see this potential barrier only increased in the waiting times is not promising. Now Basque have picked up on this and obviously see this as an issue and they've been speaking to candidates of the police crime commissioner so should hopefully have people and, and potential candidates go into those positions that Basque have spoken to and have stressed the importance of having more efficient licensing departments whether or not they're going to be listened to i don't know and as always i really think they should be putting this issue right at the top because this affects all firearms owners and all shotgun owners you can't own a firearm or shotgun here within the uk without a certificate so no matter what discipline you do be that game shooting or practical shooting we're all in the same boat with this so it's incredibly important and it's why it's so frustrating when you see them putting so much time and effort into this voluntary led transition when this is something that affects absolutely every shooter in the country or certainly every firearms owner in the country so hopefully Bass will have this uh, high up on their priority list and will be putting in a lot of work into it. But interestingly, some of the suggestions that have come from the head of Basque's firearms team, Bill Harriman, is the potential of having a national firearms licensing department. So in recent years, there have been a number of counties that have combined forces. So whilst I said usually most counties will have their own firearms licensing department it has become more common now to see little clusters i know that hampshire and thames valley they've combined forces and we've seen uh, you know three or four counties combine in certain circumstances now the general trend with these combination of counties is that the efficiencies are improved they also see a massive reduction in their waiting times for application so it does seem a very good thing for the certificate holders or you know, want to be certificate holders for these combined forces. Now we've seen this happen amongst other civil service departments as well. We've seen it in the police in uh, other ways, in the fire department and also the NHS. And the main reason that we seem to see efficiencies and improvement in service is due to cost savings. If each county has their own office, well, they're paying 100% of those costs. If they're sharing the burden with other counties, then they will have more money to put in to improve the service because they're saving so much more. So the idea of having this National Firearm Licensing Department, as long as it's implemented and thought out, should overall be a good thing. And it would be something that I would most definitely be willing to support if it's on the table. At the end of the day, it should hopefully make getting a firearm and shotgun certificate a, mu a much easier and simpler and more importantly, quicker process. And Bill Harriman also talks about the inclusion of more technology instead of doing face-to-face -face visits, potentially using more video calls and using uh, IT more in this uh, application process. So overall, there's a lot of efficiencies to be gained. Basque seem to be trying to nudge the police forward with this, but we are seeing improvements in certain areas with the combination of these counties. But yes, there's a lot of counties that have a lot to answer for, 
and it's still absolutely mystifying why there can be such disparity while why some departments seem to be so efficient and so on top of it and some seem to be absolutely dreadful so as i've already said the link will be in the comment section below for the full table so you can go and have a look at it and get an idea of how long it's going to take in your local area but i really hope you found this video interesting and useful if you have enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up consider sharing and also consider subscribing for any future videos and as always guys i hope to see you soon Thank you.